Hey guys, it's Julie from PaleoMG.com here. Today I'm going to show you my first hair tutorial for just natural kind of smooth curls. Let's do this. First I need you to wash your hair. After it's washed and kind of air dries a little bit, you're going to first add in Unite 7 Second Condition Leave-In Detangler. It just makes your hair ultra smooth. I love it and use it every single day even if I don't have knotty hair. Naughty. <laughs> Number two, you're going to use Unite Laser Straight Relaxing Fluid. It just kind of smooths out the hair even more. Number three, oh, was, get it together. Number three, you're going to use Unite Diamond Serum. I love this stuff. I'm obsessed with it. Just a little bit of each. Oh, yeah. Number four. I know. It's so much. You're gonna use Moroccan oil treatment. This just really smooths out the hair so it's easy to round brush or dry. Number five, let's blow dry. And we are good to go. Once your hair is dry, you just put that dryer away. You know, common sense here. So I'm just gonna brush out my hair a little bit, get it smooth since I didn't round brush it to dry it, cause I'm lazy. Okay, now you're gonna plug in your curling iron and straightener. I like to use a one inch curling iron and the straightener, just a straightener I've had for a long time now. So I'll divide my hair in half and pull both sides forward. This is so I just don't miss any hairs. So you're going to take your curling iron and you want to curl away from your face. That's just how I do my curls. So using the curling iron away from my face, I'm going to curl from the top down and just kind of let it pull into the curling iron and then leave that end straight. So once I curl it 10, 15 seconds, I just like to press the curl up just as it cools to hold the curl a little better. And I'll just repeat again. So you see, I just leave those ends out because after I curl this spot, I'm gonna use the straightening iron to straighten the ends. If you have pretty straight hair, you don't need to do this. I have kind of curly hair, so I like to just straighten out the end and that gives it a little bit more natural look. So you're just gonna keep repeating curling from the top down, leaving the end out. And I just do a couple pieces and then I'll use the straightening iron just so I don't miss any pieces. I'm so sweaty. On a velvet chair. It's fucking hot as fuck. Who invented velvet chairs? Who bought a velvet chair? I did. Oh shit! Oh, just burned myself. Oh, my Hi, doggy. You get to come in the video soon. I know you just. You're just a such an attention whore like your mama. Oh, it's like a pretend. Well, excuse you, Jackson. Gross. Okay, after you finish, you'll pull that half forward, and so you can put the straight hair back, just so you know you're not missing any hair. And you're gonna do the exact same thing as you did before, curling away from the face, from the top of the hair, down to the ends, leaving that little end out so you can straighten it out at the end. Oh, that burn hurts. Can't show you the goodies. The goodies. I had about four ounces of cold brew coffee. I am buzzing. Last piece. Finally. So you're going to take that last piece, do the dang thing, exactly what you've been doing. Finally, we're done. So you're just gonna let your hair just cool a little bit, just so it'll hold its curl.
once it's done and nice and cool, I like to brush it out or just use my hands to run it through my hair. This just gives it the more natural look instead of individual curls. Once you get it brushed out, you're gonna use a comb and that just gives it a little bit of volume. I have thin hair, so I just back comb it to my head, just the back usually, just to give me that bump it look. Brush it out, comb it out, make sure we have some smooth hair going on. And look at those curls, look at them go. Look at I hope this was helpful guys. I hope this helps you get your own natural curl look at home. And you know what? You're the best.